student teaching gives wannabe teachers a peek at what life in the classroom is like for full-time teachers. But little did our next guest know that her student teaching experience would also give her a glimpse at her future outside the classroom. In today's Across the Table segment, we're sitting down with Hawthorne Elementary School Principal Stephanie Jones to hear how her career path led her to the principal's office. So Stephanie, first things first, what are you drinking in your cup today? Today I am drinking hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. I think that is the first time that we've had some really? hot chocolate. Yeah. I like that though because a lot of times people just order plain black. Mm -hmm. So I went with something different today too. I got an Americano, decaf America, mm, okay. Americano. So, but we're going to start by talking about your role at Hawthorne Elementary. Okay. So I am the principal at Hawthorne Elementary. I have been there for about seven years now as either the assistant principal or as the head principal now for the past three years. This will be my third year there. Well, before we get into your role as principal, okay. we have to go back to the beginning because okay. this is very unique. <laughs> yep. You actually started way back when, when you got into student teaching at I Hawthorne. I did. So when I started my student teaching from the University of South Dakota, I was a student teaching with a fourth grade teacher at Hawthorne Elementary, um, Priscilla Gangopoulos. In fact, I mentioned her to the staff there and they all know and who she is and she was an amazing lady. And then my first job also entailed part-time that I worked also at Hawthorne Elementary in the Early Childhood Special Ed Program. So did you know from the beginning that that's where, what you wanted to do? Like, did you want to end up as a principal? No, amazingly enough, no. In fact, my um, previous principal had told me at one point at another school about 12 years previously, she said, someday you will be doing my job. And I said, absolutely not. I said, my passion is teaching. I want to be a teacher and I'll do that forever. And my first administrative job was working collaboratively with her at Hawthorne. So it was, it's kind of that full circle. Yeah. She said, I said you'd be here and now you are. You, what would you say makes Hawthorne unique? Um, I think the most unique thing about Hawthorne is our diversity in that building and how we are such a diverse staff, diverse student body, and we are an ever-growing team that works really hard and our kids are amazingly persistent at trying to get where they want to be in life. What are some of those barriers that students at Hawthorne Elementary yeah. School have to go through. One I think of our greatest barriers a lot of times is transportation and getting our kids to school every morning on time so that can be an issue for our families. Um, another barrier is that we have a lot of working families and families that maybe either both parents are working or single parent families that are working swing shifts and different things that make it hard for them to get into school and be a active participant in their child's education. So how can we as a community help support Hopper Elementary. Yeah. And our community at Kelloland is amazing. I have to say that already because we do get so, so much support from our community. Um, our business partners, our church partners that help us are amazing. And I think it's just that support of we know that oftentimes people are out there praying for us, thinking about us, knowing that we do a hard job in our day and are very supportive of us is kind of an amazing thing for our community, yeah. So if there's one thing that you could magically make happen for the students uh, at Hawthorne, what would that be? Magically make happen. Anything. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I would say if we could make anything magically happen, it would be to have that um, environment that really kids are always striving to succeed and be successful and things can be adapted to whatever needs that they need to make them successful. I love that. So let's talk a little bit about you now. Okay. What do you like to do? Say you had a day where you had no obligations <laughs> except for what you wanted to do. What does the perfect day look like to you? The perfect day looks like to me is I would say um, waking up late. I do like to sleep in. I'm a sleep person who likes to sleep in still in my life. Um, get, having that time to sleep in, get up with my family, um, my kids if they're, if they're home, spending that time with them. Being able to read a book is an amazing thing at this time of year because if anybody knows a teacher, you don't get to read anything fun during the school year. It's only in the summer. So having that option to do that and just maybe even taking in a movie or spending some time with that family all day. Tell me about your family. 
So I have a husband who also teaches in the Sioux Falls School District um, at Lincoln High School. I also have three girls who right now are all in college. I have one at USD, or I have two at USD, one in grad school, one in just started as a freshman. And then I have one at the University of Sioux Falls um, here in town too. So staying pretty close to home, USD is a little bit, but. Yeah, and amazing enough, all my kids said, oh, never gonna be a teacher, never yeah. gonna do anything in a school. And right now it looks like we're three for three that they are looking at careers in a school setting, so in some capacity. You see that happen a lot, especially yeah. when both parents are in yeah. teaching. They might say yeah. they're not going to, but somehow they end up yeah. in it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any hobbies you like to do? Um, I. I do teach um, fitness classes oh, okay. at Avera okay. Fitness Center. I work in the pool there and love that. That's kind of my big hobby is doing that and exercising is kind of that and then just being able to read fun stuff if yeah. I can, yes. <laughs> so what is one thing that people don't know about you and Kello Land? One thing that people don't know about me. Well, I would say one thing they don't know is that I come from a family, a business family in Kelloland. My parents own Spencer Furniture. Oh. So I was born and raised there, right down the street from Josiah's here. Um, worked there often when I was a kid and grew up in that and gained some really good trade skills of how to put in tile and flooring and those kinds of things. So do you use those skills on your own time for fun? I do use those own skills on my own time for fun. That's very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today and yeah. telling us all about you and Hawthorne Elementary. Thank you. Be sure and stop by Josiah's Coffee House Cafe and Baker. You need the next time you're in downtown Sioux Falls. They're located at 101 West 12th Street, just Kitty Corner from the Federal Courthouse. You'll find great coffee and even better breakfast, lunch, and bakery items seven days a week from 6.30 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. Every week, Josiah's tempts your taste buds with a special treat. Whether it's their homemade pies and cheesecakes or a handcrafted sandwich featuring garden veggies or a cup of soup, Josiah's delicious breakfasts are also a great way to start your day. Be sure and check out Josiah's this week. Tell them Kelloland Living sent you for a special treat.